Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I just want to say, don't fall in love with your programming language. Back at my first software development job, when I was a junior developer, I was learning the Microsoft stack. So I started off with VBA, and then it was VB5, and then VB6, and then ASP, and a lot of the web stuff. Right? And we had two different teams at the investment bank that we were working on, two different development teams. We had the Microsoft team, which was a bunch of us Microsoft developers, and we did all the, the ASP applications. And then we had a Java team, and they did Java serverless. Java servlets, JSP pages, everything like that. Now, the developers and the Microsoft team, we all knew for a fact that Java was a terrible language and it was a bunch of hippies with sandals and, and, and all that kind of stuff. It was fine, you could do it, it was free, but it was, it was you know, we, we knew it was not a very good language. On the other side, the Java developers knew that the Microsoft developers were just working with toys. It couldn't scale, uh, they used GUIs, they didn't know how to use a terminal, etc. Right? We, we, we had these opinions about the others, and if somebody said something bad about our language, we were offended by it. I can remember being offended by somebody saying how uh, ASP is a good language for a web app if you have like 10 users, but it can't really scale to more. And I remember being like, what does he know? He doesn't know this language. He hasn't been you know, up at night at you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night trying to fix something because he, you're you're dealing with all these different issues and, and learning, you know, the process of learning a new language can be very difficult sometimes. I mean, you have quick wins where you learn uh, really great things and you have these low level bugs or environmental issues that you have to solve and you're on stack overflow for hours trying to, to sort these kind of things. We've all been there and we all take the languages that we learn very, very seriously. I could remember having, ar having arguments with people about how PHP would kick ASP's ass in a fight. You know, just ridiculous things, right? And throughout my career, it's always been the same. I can remember talking bad about SharePoint to a SharePoint developer, and he was saying, he was like getting really upset with me, like, I, like I'd insulted him, and I had to, to backtrack, say, I'm sorry, you know, it just, you know, we have these opinions about stuff. So the reason I'm talking about this is a couple of months ago, I did a video about the Ionic framework talking about how much I love the Ionic framework, but we weren't going to use it for any new projects because I was concerned about the web view and I was concerned about client projects going forward. Right? That's that's all I was talking about. And it's got it, that video is probably the most popular video on this channel. I don't know why. If you search for Ionic framework, it comes up first. If you search for Ionic, it comes up like fourth. Right? I don't know why YouTube put it there, but it does. It's just my opinion going forward. And I think Ionic is a great framework if you have like. You know, 10 or 20 applications, it's great, but if my concern would be if there's a platform update or if they start uh, rejecting WebView uh, apps for whatever reason. It was based on an article I had read. It wasn't something I just came up, I dreamed up. But anyway, there was all that. But that video has had some of the nastiest comments I've had on any video. People saying things like, you suck, you, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty tame, but there's some pretty nasty comments on there, right? And at first I was getting like really upset, like why are these people uh, you know insulting? What what did I do? I was just you know, and, and then I then I realized, hey, I insulted them first. I the one who said, you know, that that the the Ionic framework was whatever. I think it's more the title than anything else. Because I really I love the Ionic framework. I think it's it's very elegant. If you do PWAs, I mean, I would definitely go that way. But I'm I'm concerned about client applications going forward because we have so much coming through, and you, I the last thing I want is for a, a platform change to have every client calling me up and saying, "What are we going to do? How are you going to fix it?" That's my problem. And some people say that will never happen, and they may be true. That may be true. They may be right. So anyway, but my message today is when you start moving from being a developer, working for others, or even working for yourself, and start looking at more the business side, like what is the most efficient language I can use, what is the most efficient technology we can use in terms of performance, but also in terms of cost. So that would be things like how many developers are available who know this language and so forth. When you start thinking about that stuff, you start thinking about what's the best language for this project going forward. The truth is that most languages, the output is pretty much the same. When people say what's better, Java or Kotlin, the output is pretty much the same. It's whichever you are more comfortable with as a developer, but you have to be willing to, to learn. And when you're thinking about the business side, think about 
what is the best technology going for, uh, for this going forward. Sometimes the best technology is the one you know the best if you're the developer you're going to use. But I think it's a bit silly, and I, uh, again, I'm the same in this, that we identify so closely with the languages that we learn. So my message today, and you know, let me know if you disagree with me, is don't fall in love with the language that you learn. The technology evolves all the time. You, my WAP skills, learning you know, the wireless application protocol in the early days of mobile, that's no longer relevant. I happen to hate PHP with a passion. I hate working with PHP, but PHP is what Facebook is built on, so it's obviously not a bad language. But we all have our opinions about these kind of things, but if if I've offended anybody when I talk about a language or Ionic or whatever, that is not my intention. And let me just apologize now. So anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.